really you should do. So what I what I love about uh, LinkedIn is that it still can can connect very very well with uh, with a lot of the, what Tier Five does and allows because the the great thing about LinkedIn is that. Everybody's on there. So similar to why I talked about the value of robo contact and text and bulk and the fact that everybody's on Yelp or everybody's on Google Maps, back, I don't know, and whenever it was, whenever LinkedIn, you know, came out, everybody set up a LinkedIn profile. It was like, you know, it was like the new resume. If you didn't have a LinkedIn profile, you were not considered to be, you know, a professional person. And then everybody just left it. So so then so 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 that's that's kind of the nice thing is that everybody is there. Now, there's two things that you should be looking to to really get out of LinkedIn. The first is, is that you can actually garner a lot of uh, connections, a lot of uh, interest, messages, conversations, sales calls directly through the LinkedIn platform. And I think that that's something that you can do. And we in, in the 18 outreach scripts, there's uh, a couple of messages that walk them through, you know, walk you through what to say. But I don't want to say more importantly, but I would say that equally as important, what LinkedIn does and allows is it allows you to be able to uh, get their contact information. So you're able to get their email. And then now all of a sudden you can do tons of things with that. Now all of a sudden you can plug that, plug that into RoboContact and go out and, uh, you know, grab different, you know, because I believe it has their website on there. So you can plug their website in there, go in and grab all the other, you know, emails that are on there. You can, um, you can create and set up, uh, you know, personalized websites that are tailored, you know, to all of those people. Um, so you can put, you know, you can put them into a Facebook uh, audience. I mean, there's there's lots of different ways to remarket to them. So I think that that is what you should be looking to do is realize that LinkedIn is is oftentimes a, a starting point, and it's it's frankly not nothing other than just the place where you can. Without this jet buzz thing, it's really something that just is going to require you to have hand-to-hand -hand combat, or you're going to have to hire or pay somebody to do it, um, to go in and manually connect with these people. But the strategy is simple. The strategy is you hone in on your niche, like we talked about at the beginning of the, of the, of the call today. You hone in on your niche, and you really go in and you, you uh, can um, search by uh, position. So if you can, you know, do founder or owner or restauranteur or, uh, you know, um, I, I don't know what they would put, maybe certified and MD. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in the medical space, but you could search specifically by the, uh, by the position. You can also search by industry. So they have a lot of the industries and it's not perfect, but you can say, you know, I want people in the real estate space or I want people in the you know, medical space or I want people in the you know, legal space. So you can search by industry. You can also search by location, um, all the way down to the city. I believe you can do the states. And then what I would encourage you to do is that pick one of those or all of those filters. And then what you do is you start searching off of your second connections, right? So um, LinkedIn tracks how kind of how far away you are from somebody. And you guys have heard, you know, that old saying like seven seven people from Kevin Bacon or you know, seven people from, from Barack Obama. And basically it's just targeting how closely you are in connection to somebody. And a second connection means that you're not friends with that person. You're not connected with that person, but that you're one step away, that they're friends of friends. And statistics have been shown that if you are a second or third connection, you are much more likely to be, get, have someone accept you than if you're not. So it's much better to spend the time focusing on those people because not only are you just statistically more likely to, to meet, you know, that person, you know, for that person to connect with you, but the, the likelihood of you actually having something or someone in common is actually very, very high. And so your, your ability to actually have a real conversation with that person and go, Oh my goodness, you know, Betty, how do you know Betty? Or, you know, Sal, oh my, how do you know John? Well, I've, I've been working in this industry for a few months and you know, John and I got connected a few months ago on LinkedIn. And uh, it was great. We chatted a little bit and, you know, that's how we got connected to you. So you're going to end up over time getting more and more connections. The longer you stay in an industry, well, now your connections open up to those people as well. So it's just, that's something that I would, I would keep in mind. The first question, all right, the first message, right? Here's your little crash course on LinkedIn. The first message I would personalize 
because when you personalize it, it shows up like on a different email. You guys have all seen those emails where it's like so-and-so, you know, sent you a LinkedIn response. And if you get, if you personalize them, there's much more likely that they're going to see it. And there's a template on there and you don't have to make it totally personalized, but you want to write something different than the generic LinkedIn thing. And, um, I would make it super casual. I would not start, you know, humping their leg, trying to get a sales call right away. I would simply say that, you know, you have some mutual connections, which you do, and that, you know, you wanted to connect with them, something like that. And then on the second message, once they connect with you, now that gives them you the opportunity to follow up with them, right? And, and you know, at that point, depending on how quickly you want to go, you know, go for the sales call, at that point, you can either send them a sales video, you can send them an article, you can send them a resource, you can send them a message, you can, you can offer something of value that's going to get their attention. Hey, I just wanted to, you know, we're doing a free pilot right now where we're, you know, doing a, you know, three days or we're setting up a free you know, automated messaging system or whatever it is, you can offer them something through those messages that, you know, becomes your, your ability to engage and then, you know, ideally qualify them on that next call. So that's it. Then you can take, John had some good luck, didn't he? Say that again. John had some really good luck with some stuff on LinkedIn, I think. Here's the thing, Darla. LinkedIn, I'm sure he did. LinkedIn is not about luck. LinkedIn is about hard work. It's about clicking right. fucking buttons, a lot of them. That's it. That's, that's, and, 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 and I didn't mention, you know, you should write your, your profile, not like a profile where, oh, you know, I was born and raised in this, like it's, that's not what your LinkedIn profile, if you're going to do this, should be for your LinkedIn profile should be written like a sales letter that's targeted hyper specifically to your niche. So when they go, who the hell is Darla? They click on it and they go, and at the top of it says, you know, Darla, you know, uh, so-and-so for whatever, you know, and it says, if you're a, you know, if you're a dentist, if you're a dog, if you're an ex, if you're this type of business owner, keep reading because here's what I can do. Right. And it's like, it, it, it doesn't hurt to be super salesy on that profile because I've had people, I've had friends and just, just people I've been connected with in the online space who get straight up sales calls, people booking with them, emailing them, calling them just from reading their LinkedIn bio. So what I would encourage you though, is the, the more, if you're going to take this profile, you're going to take this, this approach, the, the more specific the, um, the, the niches, the better, right? You could talk, Oh, generally I'm a digital marketer. You could talk, Oh, generally I, I do all, I do these, these kind of tech, like you could talk generally, but you're going to have a much less of a response than if you are uh, have, a, have a hyper targeted uh, message. And I sent uh, an example in the, in the messenger group um, earlier in the week. So I'll go back and 